What's going on my chess friends? Good to see everybody back. Alex with you here as usual. Thank you for dropping by for yet another chess video. In this video we're going to be taking a quick look at some of the new tournament plastic chess sets that I was able to recently purchase at House of Staunton. The reason why I ended up deciding to uh, purchase more tournament chess sets is for the simple fact that I didn't even realize but within the past three, four months, I've been sort of giving away my chess sets to friends and their families and kids, a lot of kids. So anytime there was a birthday party, I would end up finding a chess set, especially if it's a, like a family friend and I would end up finding a nice chess set, putting the pieces together and giving it away. And before I knew it, I realized that most of my plastic chess pieces ended up being given out which I was really happy about because there was a lot of kids out there uh, that really wanted to play chess but were playing on little tiny chess sets that I just I felt like I wanted to give it to them like it's a nice gift if you think about it if you're if, if you haven't given a gift that's like a chess set to somebody it's it's a wonderful gift especially to somebody who is probably going to use it because let's face the fact that in like for example where I live we have very, very few people that are actually interested in playing chess or even know how to play chess. Just because culturally, at least here in the United States, it's really not all that popular. In fact, just probably a couple of weeks ago, I finally decided to muster the courage to ask my neighborhood community on their like little Facebook uh, social page or whatever that is there, you know, any frequent or regular chess meetups or clubs in the area? Among 1,300 members of the Facebook page, not even did I get a comment back to my inquiry, but I didn't even get a like. And I, it was disappointing because people are not, I mean, especially those that, that do not play, they're not... It seems like the, 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 the overall uh, view of chess nowadays among the people who don't play chess is like, oh, is that chess? Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't even play checkers. I, I, you know, I'm too old for board games anyways, you know. That kind of attitude where people feel like, I'm, I'm a little too old for that, I'm, I'm too grown up to play this type of stuff. Uh, it's really disappointing because Chess is a wonderful game, as we all know. So anyway, so long story short, I ended up going to House of Staunton, and I was looking for through their selection, and I came to realize that they actually have a pretty nice overall wide range of quality among plastic tournament chess pieces. So after I've done my research and I looked around, basically it kind of, for me, boiled down to uh, either getting the board uh, pieces separately, which I didn't want to do, and the bag, or just get the combo pack, which is basically what I wanted to do, is I wanted to get a combination pack that would have the case, a board, and the pieces, and all in one package, because that way, a lot of times, it's less expensive, and uh, long story short, I went through their list. I found some that why kind of more or less discredited from the start, uh, mainly because of the case. So, like for example, uh, some of the chess sets were coming in cases like this, okay? Um, this type of a little thin, thin but strong fabric uh, case basically has nothing more than a little handle, um, a zip thing on the top, little opening right here, where basically you roll up your board, whether it's a vinyl board or a mouse pad board or Silicone board, I'm not sure, because silicone boards, you would have to kind of stick it in there and, and make sure that along the way of you putting the, the silicone board in there, the board doesn't bend in half, because silicone boards do have a tendency sometimes to bend when you roll them up. So, but vinyl boards, mouse pad boards, you put it in here, right into the section here, and then you just throw your pieces kind of in between, mainly like right down there and just close it up and you have it. Um, I did not purchase this particular bag uh, this time around, but I wanted to show you guys what I was looking at and what I didn't really necessarily like so much just because, yes, quality-wise, it's an okay bag and it's relatively small, especially for somebody who is like 
a, a smaller person or a child, it's it's a nice you know mobile bag, but I just didn't like the idea of taking your plastic pieces and just throwing them willy nilly, which you know maybe some other people really like these bags, but for me, my opinion, not so much. So the other bags I've seen and I've already talked about those type of bags in some of my other videos. Um, it's like a square pouch that has a zip on the top and handles and you just throw all your pieces both light and dark in one compartment and then on the bottom it has this sort of a attached little space for the board basically you know you roll up your board and you, you stick it underneath and it like hangs out halfway you guys have probably seen those boards it's nice uh, I didn't get one of those boards but I feel like the more I thought about it for kids that might have a little bit of a problem with hey, you know, all these compartments, where do I put the pieces properly or whatnot, um, it may be easier. You know, you just throw in all the pieces in one compartment, close it, and, and just take off. And so depending on how old the person is for whom the chess set is being purchased uh, would determine whether or not, you know, you would need something fancy, which is what I'm about to show you guys, or if you wanted to get something less fancy. Um, so I ended up looking through the entire selection of House of, St of Staunton and I came to the second to the last uh, type of a combination which is the Premier package and I'll show you guys a link below. But what I didn't realize is from the time that I purchased chess sets before I didn't really take this into consideration there's a lot more options now so when you click on that do be sure to check out all the different varieties of the bags because check this out guys bags are now coming in all kinds of different colors this is a desert camouflage there's also like a more green camouflage there was a blue camouflage that i think is really really cool but it's one of those that was sold out just because it's a lot more popular it's got like light and dark blue interchangeable in this camouflage pattern which I thought would have been pretty cool, but I ended up getting this particular um, uh, case. It's one of the cases that I ended up getting. Um, we've seen the overall uh, layout of these type of cases before. Nothing's really different. You have uh, two compartments here for your uh, pieces. So you can put light pieces here, dark pieces here. The center compartment right over here also extends out a little bit. Uh, enough for you to be able to put a clock in here. Uh, you have a couple of little spots to keep your pencils, a little uh, place to put like a name tag where you can, you know, you can put this belongs to a certain somebody. And then you have an extra compartment right over here. And I know it's all dark on dark, so it might be kind of hard to see, but this extra compartment might be for your uh, game score book or additional notes or what have you. It's a nice loose compartment that you could just throw a bunch of stuff in. Uh, lastly, you have these like little ribbon like let me let me see if i can i can show you yeah you got these little ribbon things right over here on the side one and the other one here on the bottom right over here um that you basically kind of stretch out a little bit and put your board in there and then everything gets closed up really nicely zip tied we've seen these before you have uh the ability to carry the case this way um, and then you also have the ability to carry this case uh, on a bigger strap over your back. So this is kind of nice. I, I was just really pleased with the fact that they had like 16 or something like that. Quite a lot, a large selection of different colors. They had uh, this one, desert camouflage, green camouflage, blue camouflage. This burgundy color is really nice. They had other colors. They had your typical green tan khaki uh also let's see blue dark blue they also had these neon neon ones but neon ones i was like oh that might be a little too too striking but um yeah they're pretty much built the same there's not a whole lot different it's just the only things different is the the outside color is different but yeah you have the compartments you have the center compartment uh, so everything everything else is built the same you get the, the little strap for your for your back here You just get it inside. So if you guys decide to purchase these type look for the strap inside the actual bag I also got a pink one because I, I figured um, I get one of these because it's a nice little nice pink color for maybe if my girl decides to uh, Go to a chess club at her school 
I'll give her this because it, it looks really nice and I'm sure there's not a lot of pink um, pink ones like that so she'll it'll be nice so that way nobody will confuse their chest set for her chest set so I, I really like it so in addition to the wide selection of the different cases that are available on this particular uh, combo package there also is uh, the selection option of, of either selecting a green square or a black square mouse pad board these mouse pad boards now when it comes to green square i really wish that they had a larger selection i wish to see if they had maybe like a light brown uh, maybe a blue uh, dark green light green um, which other ones different shades of brown would have been nice so they only provided you with the option of either dark or green uh, which if I had only those two to choose from, I chose, I chose just green. I chose all green, but these are great. These are great, great boards in my opinion because the mouse pad boards are, are relatively large. They don't like crinkle or anything like that. The undersides build from this type of a mouse pad um, material. And if, in my opinion, they, they last for a long time. They always look good. It doesn't matter how many games you play on these. They do, over time, sometimes collect a little bit of dust. So if you're playing a lot, you may start to notice that the colors will start to fade a little bit or you'll start to get dusty. Also, if you, you can't really draw on them, not that anybody would wanna draw on gaming boards, but I've alluded to this before in some of my other videos. If you get a crayon or something like that and you start just coloring all over it, then it's, it's a little bit difficult to get that out. Whereas on a vinyl board, maybe uh, it might not be as hard. Like if you take a marker or something, you could always just get some kind of a wash thing and, and wash them out. But anyways, I, I got three, three, uh, three sets this time around. And so I wanted to share with you guys the, what comes in those different sets. Three boards, super cool. The reason why I ended up getting all this anyways is basically because A, Maybe my daughter, maybe she has not yet expressed an interest in chess, but perhaps if she sees her friends want to, you know, play chess or something, maybe um, she'll express an interest and I'll have a chess set for her. But if she doesn't, I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically put all the chess sets together and I'm going to wrap them up and any other child out there that, you know, is going to have a birthday party and I know that that child might have an interest in chess. If it's among friends, this is what I might bring to, to the birthday party, just like I did with the, you know, with the other kids. So I, I just feel like it's a great gift. It's especially for kids. If they're, if they have a, even an inkling of getting uh, some kind of a chess set or playing chess, getting this is wonderful. I mean, how much did it cost me? I think they were priced at about uh, 40 something dollars, maybe somewhere in that range. And uh, the additional, and I'll show you guys just a second because I got uh, three different types of chess pieces and we'll take a look at the chess pieces up closely. So stay tuned, don't uh, click out just yet. But uh, basically I ended up getting everything, three, three sets for about $110, that's with shipping, because shipping was free because it was over 100 bucks, and right now House of Staunton has like 20% off, which is really good. I mean, if 20% off plus the 10% off that I'm getting from the golden membership collector's thing that I paid 100 bucks to years ago, ends up being 30%, 30% uh, plus free shipping is like a really good deal. Uh, so I, I figured I'd utilize this opportunity because it ended up saving me over like um, over 40 bucks. So why not? And if you think about it, $110 divided by three is what, like 30 some 40 bucks maybe, not even $40. So if it's a kid's birthday and you know, you, you, you're thinking about what to get them and you know they like to play chess, this will be a wonderful gift. Okay, speaking of wonderful gifts, uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching those videos on Chestnut Air. I'm still playing the chess, uh, Chestnut Air. It's, it's wonderful. I've been having a great time just because everybody's busy nowadays. I can't get my friends to come over and play chess with me. I open, uh, turn on the board, 
hook it up and I have the ability to play games as if I'm playing them in person, which is wonderful. Um, we had a, a huge amount of people that were interested. A large amount of people purchased the, the, the chess set, the Chestnut Air. If you have not purchased the Chestnut Air, uh, you know, do consider it. I think it's, it's wonderful. Um, I don't know whether or not the company will continue keeping the price as low as they do right now, especially like right now, I've seen that they're giving a pretty good deal on like if you get two chess sets. So for example, if you are playing Chestnut Air and you have, you know, a grandson or if you have a friend who you also wish to maybe experience the game the way that you're experiencing it, but you are not able to be in the same room with them, you could always get the twin pack or just get another board and just gift it. That's actually what I kind of wanted to do with my channel. If my channel ever gets big enough, I do want to start like purchasing chess sets and, and that kind of stuff and maybe like donating it to people out there or just, you know, just giving it out just because once again, if, if people don't have the means or if they just chess is something that's overlooked so much in so many places, uh, maybe not in where you're from, but here it's just just people don't get chess sets and I feel like th that's an awesome gift if I if I had the means to get like a chestnut air just so that I could gift it to a child or just so that I could gift it to a friend by all means I would do so so you know be sure to to check that, them out if you haven't done so already and let's dive in real quick because I don't want to stretch this video out any longer than it needs to be we're gonna take a look at the pieces because when it comes to the pieces on this particular combo set, and I'll, like I said, I'm gonna throw the link below to the set. Uh, there's three different kinds that we, you can get. There's the Marshall set, which is 3.75 inches, that will come in black uh, and like white, white, or it will come in like black and red, maybe. I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. But, and then it'll come in like black and natural. Now, so for some of the varieties, you might have to pay an extra like $5 or an $8. I'm more uh, the person who likes natural looking. So, so when it comes to light pieces, I don't like the pieces to be like this stark white ivory type just because I feel like on the eyes, it's easier to have like a cream white. And basically what I ended up getting is all of the pieces that I have. There's three different kinds. They're all black and like natural white creamy look just because I feel like it, it, it goes well with a lot of boards and it's overall just a lot more pleasant to look at and to play. So I got the collectors uh, set, which is 3.75, the Marshall set, which is also 3.75, and then the Hastings. Now the Hastings a little bit taller, maybe just based on the height of the king, I guess, but also the Hastings is 3.875. Not by much, but just by a little bit. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna set them up and basically show you guys up close how each of the sets differs a little bit. There's not a whole lot of difference, but you guys will see that there's slight differences that might cause you to consider one versus the other. Okay, so before my battery ends up dying, because I, it, it's on its last percentage, I guess, this is the part that you guys are waiting for, because let's just take a look, because here's the thing. Um, here is, I'm going to try not to get you guys confused. Here's the collector, 3.75, okay? And here is the Hastings, okay? They're different. The Hastings is 3.875, as you guys can see, it's a little bit taller. And here's the Marshall. Now, I believe I've shown you guys the Marshall before, but as you guys are looking at these different comparisons, let me know like which one of these chess sets you guys prefer or like more. Another thing that, you know, if you guys have watched this video until now, that's another reason why we always want to watch these videos up until the end, because we're going to weigh these chess sets and see if they're really, you know, not only the same height, but also are they are they the same weight? Because my suspicion is that they're they're going to be different weights probably or or not. We'll take a look. So, this like I said, this is the Marshall and the Marshall as you could see is distinctly different than the other two in in its sort of a curviness here on top. It almost looks like a Fisher Spassky type of a king, wouldn't you guys agree? More or less 
simply due to this this sort of a curvature but aside from that as as we can see um they don't really look that much different the rings are kind of different here on this one you have the the thin ring on top and then smaller and bigger whereas for example on this one here on the collector ones right here the the rings uh, the second ring here is just a little bit beefier looking so there's not that much distinction i mean really it's not that big of a deal but it is so just you know it it's it is a little bit different so like i said collectors hastings hastings always going to be a little taller here interesting watch this there's a little bit of a cant on the side see you see how the finials slightly canted or maybe it's just me but these type of little details not super relevant but it is what it is bases look more or less similar this base is a little bit taller and a little bit more pronounced there's a bigger step here anyways let's let's go ahead and take a look collectors uh king weighs in at 69 70 it's like between 69 and 70 grams uh the hastings yes hastings is 70 and then 71 so more or less we've kind of at least eliminated the uh question of you know are the light kings different uh weight or are they the same weight so uh let's take a look at the the black ones too the black ones here here's a here's a difference the two kings here in the middle are the Hastings, uh, both 3.875. Let's weigh the, whoa, let's weigh the light, the light king. Light king weighs at 69 grams, so it's like between 69 and 70. The dark king weighs at 58 grams. That's almost a 10 gram, that's more than a 10 gram difference between the light and the dark. Uh, collectors. Let's take a look at collectors. Where I, you know, my biggest fear here is that I'm gonna get all these chess pieces so confused here in just a minute. So I really hope that's not gonna be the case because it's a lot of different chess pieces. Um, collectors, collectors. Looks like collectors. Yeah, because they look different. Um, Light King is 68, 69. Dark King is 67. Okay. These two kings for the collector set are more similar in weight than the Hastings. So that's another little piece of information so far that we've been able to gain. Let's just push these aside and take this, which is our, which one is that? Is that the Marshall one? I think it's the Marshall one. I'm already getting so confused and we haven't even gotten into the Queens yet. Oh my God uh let's take a look where is that king yeah okay so this is the the marshal we're gonna have to keep our 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 i like i like the way that the marshal looks honestly it looks really nice i like the curvature on this um the light one 60 70 and the dark one is 65 so 70 65 five gram difference Hastings like 11 gram difference mm, Is that relevant? I mean, maybe and then the collectors was very similar. It was like 65 I mean it was like 68 69 type of thing So if you're getting different chess sets, don't be assuming that all of them weigh the same. Okay, let's move uh, Into the Queens and see how they're different. I have to put these back Exactly the same boxes where I found I'm gonna get them all so mixed up. I'm telling you. Okay, here we go This is the collector one This is the Hastings one and Then this is the Marshall one. So the Queens are not really all that much different as you could see obviously because the Hastings one was already Gosh, look at that. Is that just me or, or, or is my lens curving things or is the Hastings queen like got this weird tilt? Do you guys see that? I mean, hold on a second. Yeah, look, is that is that like a weird tilt or is that me? Or am I just being extra picky? Either way, Queen Hastings said because the king was 3.875, it is a little bit taller, but but uh, this one is the collectors and this one is the marshal. If we push this back, 
take the collectors and put it right next to the Marshall. You can see there's a difference in the height a little bit here. Uh, the collectors queen is going to be a little bit shorter. The Marshall is just a little bit taller, but being that the queen's a little bit taller, but the kings are going to be the same height, there is going to be a discrepancy in you know the fall off that I've talked about before, because you know they're different height. They're not they're not the same. So there's the queens. Um, as far as the weight goes, this is what we're going to do. This is the collector's queen. The weight of the collector's queen is 55 grams. And then the this is the collector's dark queen. Not a whole lot different. Hopefully not different in height. No. Uh, 61 grams. So 55 versus 61. Six grams difference there. Okay. Um, the Hastings is um, 46 grams, so it's actually lighter than the 55 grams for and the 61 grams for the collectors, even though it's taller. And then the dark one is at 47. 46 versus 47, not much difference there. Uh, 55 for the collectors queen right up here and then 61 for the dark one so a little bit of a difference there mm, you guys are probably going to be like this guy you, you guys are probably going to have a lot of fun with seeing me get really bent out of shape on these things because uh to you guys to some of you guys maybe this is not very important but to me it really is um they hate the, hey, the uh, marshall here's the marshall one as we've seen the Marshall one is going to be weighing at 66, 65, 65 grams. So 65, the Marshall queen is going to be the heaviest among all the queens. And then the dark one is 66. So about 66 grams, 65. Um, so that's going to be as far as weight of the queens. The, the Marshall one's going to be the heaviest. Um, based on the weight, what do you guys think? Based on the overall look of them. I think that, in my opinion, if I had to choose which queen I like the best among these here, I'd probably say, I mean, the little spiky things are, neither of them are, are really all that, like, if I'm going to be really picky, I don't like when it's, like, really sharp and spiky like this. I kind of like when it's sort of a curved down, polished a little bit, a little bit smoother. But uh, if I had to pick among among these, I probably would, would pick the uh, the Marshall ones. In my opinion because they're a little bit a little bit taller a little bit bulkier and a little bit heavier and uh, when it comes to plastic pieces in my opinion I like heavier heavier is better than lighter but there you have it um, the the curve here on the on the Marshall one I really don't like maybe maybe that curve is just my own illusion or optical illusion but I don't like the curve already and I don't like the fact that these are lighter then even the lightest, the smallest one here. This one is heavier. This one's lighter. So there's just a bunch of empty air inside. But, uh, you know, to some people, maybe they, they want a lighter set. So um, each one's different. I would probably pick the, uh, the Marshall one. Let's take a look at the other pieces, okay? Bishops. Uh, bishops. This is the collector's, collector's bishop. Pay attention to the, the way the top of the bishops is because that is like probably the the factor that varies the most is the the cut and also the the top overall the shape the curvature of the top everything below the rings doesn't really change a whole lot in fact if we cut off this portion and we can put a, a ball on it it's going to be almost like a pawn but it's the the most variable thing is the, the top portion so that's the light one and here's the dark one not a whole lot of difference. Well, you hope that the same chest set's not going to be like different heights and all that because you you really do hope that they're not going to make pieces of the same chest set be all super different. Um, now, Hastings. Hastings a little bit taller. The cut's different, as you could see here. Check this out. Cut on the collector's set is more of this antique-looking larger cut with... Uh, with this sort of uh, tapering, as we could see, outside of the cut to blend in with the outside portion. 
Um, in my opinion, I like this design better than this design. This one's just kind of like a cut, more or less. Sort of what we've seen with a lot of the more modern chess pieces. I think that it does take a little bit more time, and it just looks like this is more elaborate. So, But, but the Hastings going to be a little taller, as you can see here. Um, and then here's the dark one for the Hastings. So... Also, the, this this area it looks more like the center between like at the at the widest point is is more towards the center, whereas here it feels I don't know it feels a little bit different because this is kind of more of a teardrop shape, um, whereas this is more symmetrical as you could see it's kind of a follows a, a more oval shape, so that's another difference. Um, little difference like that, little nuances might, like I said, sway people to consider buying one chess set versus another. And uh, that's why I have this channel, so that those of you guys that are looking for these type of chess sets could make a better, you know, better, more educated purchase. Um, here is the Marshall. I'm trying to keep this chess sets all in one kind of a orientation based on like collectors here, Hastings here, Marshall here. So that way I don't confuse the viewers. I know I'm already confusing you guys as much as cut here is kind of in between as you could see it's sort of like not and not as sharp of a cut through as it is like in the Hastings. So the cut here is a little bit more like rounded towards the very end. So it's sort of in between. Um, if I had to choose between the different bishops, I always like the ones that have this sort of a larger cut. It's just, in, in my opinion, it looks more aesthetic. As far as the weight of them, the collectors, oh my, hold on a second, guys. I think my battery is dying on my uh, on my weight scale. I gotta get new batteries. All right, zero it in, okay. As far as the collectors, uh, the collectors bishop, light bishop has 45 grams. 45 grams guys so 37 grams on the dark one so uh once again we see a pretty large substantial difference i don't know why i don't know whether it's going to be the same way in your chess set if i don't know if i bought another collector set we would see the same discrepancy and i don't know what what determines the weight difference aside from the fact that you know they're putting some kind of a little piece of lead or whatever it is metal down inside of the piece and whether maybe one piece of metal is heavier than the other so not really sure entirely anyways difference there's a difference in grams there let's take a look at the hastings the hastings already feels kind of lighter um 34 grams so bigger bigger taller bishop but lighter 34 grams versus 45 grams uh or more than 10 gram difference and then the dark one is 36 grams so at least there's not that much discrepancy between the light and the dark in this case, even though it's lighter. And then the Marshall. Um, Marshall is at 47 grams. So Marshall here is the heaviest. And then 42 grams for the dark one. So once again, a little bit of a discrepancy here. A lot of a discrepancy here. Not as much here, but you get kind of a lighter piece. Uh, from Just from an aesthetic standpoint, like I said, I would uh, choose the uh, I choose these bishops just because I like the... I like the this sort of a teardrop shape here. I like when it's cut through half of the ball on the top. And I really like the way the cut is. Um, these look nice too, but they're just different. Uh, you would expect if you're on the same link and you're getting a chess set that you would get more or less a similar chess set. But as you can see, they're, they're all a little bit different. So let's take a look at the other pieces. The collector's knight. This is going to be the most important, probably the most important part of the video because knights always vary so much one versus another. And people pay attention to how the knights look. So I think it's like one of the biggest things, biggest considering factors for a lot of people is the knights. That is the collect, those are the collector's knights. As you could see, detail wise, we have a more or less tapered nose with an open mouth and teeth that look like they are present on top. We've got this little tiny thing on the bottom. 
uh, that sort of looks like, I don't know what it's for, just part of the design, I guess. Ears do stick out a little bit, kind of backwards with the mane starting about a little past the eyes, which is nice because some they, they'll start a little bit before the eyes. I think aesthetically this looks nice because it looks very streamlined. Um, it's not a big, huge night, but um, it still looks nice. Sometimes in the nights they make them a little bit kind of a wider here, so it's a little easier to grab like the um, Fisher Spassky chest set that I've had showing you guys and some of the other ones. Um, sometimes they, they, there is a kind of a, a little bit better, more ergonomic grab to it, but these knights are fine. I feel like they're, they're, they look good. Here is the Hastings. All right, the Hastings looks way, way different. Look at, look at this, guys. Look at how much different these these knights look compared to these i mean they, these are just wild looking the hastings the the head is tapered inwards the mouth is open a lot more um the, the nostrils feel like the nostrils are more pronounced the mouth is open more there's teeth on the bottom and top it kind of has a little bit less space here which uh starts to kind of lean in more towards the 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 what is it, the Dubrovnik chest set or the Leningrad or the uh, Zagreb, the Zagreb ones where, where the head is kind of turned vertically. Well, this one's not turned vertically, but it's definitely looks like it's starting to kind of head towards that direction. The mane is so much more elaborate on these, even though these are plastic, but um, this this is kind of cool. I like, I like the way the knights look in this particular one. Now, as you can see here on the bottom, the, the main stops at this sort of a, a horizontal position, whereas here it, it kind of leans back and it jumps back up. It's kind of interesting to see this, this design. Um, what do you guys think? What, 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 what look, which one looks better? Let's, let's take a look at the other one. The um, Marshall, to finish off our comparison. And I hope I don't run out of space. The Marshall right over here, um, right here, looks more crude. Um, but like I said, it's just the way that these are designed. Let me let me try to kind of. There, no, I don't really have enough space here for everyone. The knights are bulky looking things, but yeah. So as far as the Marshall, the Marshall has a more like crude crude cuts. Look, look at the cuts on the face. Look at them. Look at the way the eyes are. The eyes are less pronounced. They're more flat with the surface of the night. Um, as far as the, the overall angulation of the face, um, they are angled more horizontal like the collector set, but, but the face is more bulkier. Like here, it's kind of a little bit bigger. And it doesn't taper in as quickly as as this one does. It has more pronounced jaw muscles on 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 right over here, and uh, just just a slightly different looking, kind of a more bulky looking uh, knight. I think uh, I think when it comes to knights here, as far as just the aesthetics, the Hastings, I really like these because they do look like they've taken more time. But like I said, if somebody's leaning more towards the classical look, then they would probably be looking more at like either the Marshall or the Collectors. Collectors looking kind of a little bit smaller out of all of them. It looks nice and conservative, but it looks smaller. This one, in, this one looks wild. I like this one. I don't know. What do you guys, are you liking? Which one are you guys liking? All right, let's go ahead and weigh these. The collector's knight, the light one, weighs in at 40 grams. Uh, the dark one weighs in at 45 grams. So in this case, there's a discrepancy where the, the dark knight is heavier than the light one. So, I mean, go figure. There's I don't know if there's a way of predicting this, this kind of discrepancy, but there is a 5-gram discrepancy. As far as the Hastings, uh, the light one weighs in at 43 grams. And then the dark one weighs in at 40, 40 grams, so a four, three, three, three gram difference here. And then as far as the Marshall one, the Marshall weighs in at 44 for the light and uh, 47 for the dark. So yeah, 
Um, not a whole lot of difference as far as the weight goes between the individual knights here. I guess the only considering factor between the different knights would be just the looks. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the rooks. Um, rooks is probably where it's going to vary quite a lot as well uh, based on the size. This is the collector's rook for the light and the dark. So no difference there, thank God. Um, Here's the Hastings Rooks in comparison. So the Hastings ones are going to be a lot taller and overall just, just a little bit here wider. So just a little bit different, not a whole lot. Um, the top here is going to be different too, as you guys can see. Um, if we look at the top of the collectors, we can see that we have six cuts and it's not super wide. Um, if we look at this one, it looks a little bit like shallower in the top and the the thickness of these things right over here is going to be a little bit thicker here in the collectors than it is in the hastings um but the amount of cuts uh, i think stays stays the same so so ba basically the only real difference here is the height a little bit higher on the hastings than it is on the collectors as far as the marshall knights um the Marshall Knights are a little bit different. A little bit different. They're not. Uh, there's not as much tapering because, like you could see here, is there's a tapering, more tapering, just because maybe they're a little bit taller. But this part over here, the top portion, also varies among all of them. Uh, same amount of cuts, uh, as far as as I can tell. But the the height of this last part here is going to be the biggest in the uh, Marshall uh, Rooks the the this one right here the hastings the, the the top portion is very small very tiny almost tiny like too tiny maybe if i if we had the the thickness of this one here on the marshall it would be a little bit better just because i mean you can't have nothing on top you know you, you gotta have a little bit i feel like out of all of these the uh the marshall um rooks are gonna be the best proportionately aesthetic rooks in my opinion just because i like to have i mean you, you can't you can't have too much variability with rooks anyways so it's not like you get to choose a whole lot different among the pieces but i feel like this one's more proportional the height of the entire piece and the overall uh shape of it and how it's like relatively straight and without too much uh, tapering and then the overall height of the top is also in my opinion more or less ideal so let's go ahead and take a look at the weight the collector's rook the light one weighs in at 35 grams and then the dark one weighs in at 42 grams so once again there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy like seven grams i mean considering that we're not working with a lot of grams to begin with seven grams is a noticeable significant difference if you ask me i mean it's just my opinion um hastings uh rook the light one weighs in at 44 so a little bit heavier than the collectors by um you know by about 10 grams or so and then the dark one weighs in at 38 so 38 44 so here in the hastings we see that unlike some of the other pieces in their set that the rooks will vary in weight by uh by a lot uh and then the marshall the marshall weighs in at 48 for the light and 48 for the dark so as far as the rooks in my opinion aesthetically the uh the Marshall one uh, is what I would probably prefer out of all of them, just because it's kind of a more solid, very classical looking uh, rooks, as opposed to the other ones. I mean, they're, they're, they're all pretty much similar. It's just that among the little tiny nuance differences that we see, I'd probably choose the Marshall. Let's take a look at the pawns. Okay, finally, we've got the pawns. This is the collector's pawns. Pawns do vary a little bit, not by much, among the different chess sets. Um, also, um, pawns can vary in height, but just a little bit sometimes even within the chest set. Uh, for those that are, you know, looking for that perfection, um, sometimes you don't really have a way of controlling that. But this is the collector's pawns, as you can see here. Um, then them, this in comparison, this is the, the Hastings pawns. Hasting pawns are a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Once again, we see a little bit of, I don't know if it's my board, if it's a table or something. Let me take a look. 
Okay, yeah, I don't know. Am I, are, are we seeing a tilt here? Or I'm not sure. Anyways, pawns, Hastings pawns are a little bit taller. The ball is a little bit bigger. And then the skirt underneath the ball is going to be just a little bit bigger, at least on the white one or on the light one. On the dark one, it kind of isn't as big. Maybe it's just, I don't know. But they don't look that much different. Not really that much different at all. And then the martial ones... The marshals are going to be looking like this. So, um, yeah, not a whole lot different. As far as plastic chests to begin with, I feel like because pawns are, there's so many of them, they can vary a little bit. But um, in the actual game, these type of little tiny nuances aren't really all that noticeable. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh these. My uh, weight scale's been acting up, so hopefully we'll be able to weight all the pieces before it uh, dies on me. But uh, the light collector's pawn, um, 24 grams. The dark one is at 24 grams, so at least there we don't really see a difference between the light and the dark. The Hastings pawn, the light one's 25 grams, just a little bit bigger, not by much. The dark one's at 24 grams, so almost the same. And then the Marshall one's at 21 grams, and the dark one is at 22 grams. So really not a whole lot difference here, maybe one or two grams. It's uh, Pawns aren't going to really make it or break it for us because, like I said, they all look very, very similar. The Hastings has a little bit of a slightly bigger ball. Um, they're all pretty easy to grab. They all feel like they've got enough stability to be played on any type of board, really. So that's kind of that. And uh, let me just go ahead and, and take a look and, and show you guys how these uh, chess sets individually look when they're fully set up on the board. I guess it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways. These chess sets do come with extra queens. So for those of you guys that were wondering, uh, these tournament chess sets... As with any other real tournament chess sets, you know, you're going to be hopefully getting extra queens. Um, yeah, two extra queens. Uh, one for the light and one for the dark. This is the collector set. Um, the reason why I'm kind of showing you off to the side like that is just I wanted to show you guys the transition as, as some of the people out there that are interested in the, the high transition between the king and the queen here, as you can see, is relatively steep. And then between the queen and the bishop. Um, not so much, not so much. I mean, what do you guys think? Some people really get bent out of shape by the fact that the, the bishop, they don't want the bishop to be super, super like similar in height to uh, the queen. I don't know why. I, I just, I know that to be the case among a lot of people that view my channel that they will actually comment and say, hey, you know, like that best chess set ever. So a lot of people commented on the fact that the queen and the bishop are like almost the same height. Anyway, so it is what it is. This is the collector's one, and we have still we do have a drop off more or less, as you could see. Um, but the drop off is going to be steepest between the king and the queen. The rest sort of has a very very slight drop off. And so that's how it looks. And sorry for the wobbliness, but um, I'm holding the camera on the tripod. But this more or less is how the chest set looks on the board. Not too bad. This this board here is, I believe it's a 2.25, but don't quote me. It might be just a slightly bit bigger, like 2.3 inch, which isn't much of a difference. But this is how this particular set will look if you purchased the green board and the collector's set at 3.75, okay? This is the amount of space that you'll get on the board. It's, in my opinion, a relatively nice aesthetic chess set. Looks very nice and I would be proud to take this on really any tournament if I wanted to uh, take this somewhere to play in real life. This here is the light uh, pieces of the Hastings uh, chess set um, as we've seen before. Um, the, the pieces themselves are lighter, they're bigger but they're lighter than some of the other sets we've seen. Um, the queen is a little bit taller here than the queen for the collector set or the marshal set, which makes the queen a little bit higher, taller, a little bit taller and a little bit closer to the height of the king here. There's still a drop off, but the drop off is not as steep. 
and the, they made the bishop also relatively high, but you could see here they're not the same height. There's still, you know, a little bit of a difference here aesthetically. It looks like because of that, you create a little bit more uniform linear drop off here. The rook's a little bit tall, so it makes it like almost taller than it is. I think it is taller than the knight. So whether that's a deal breaker or not, I don't know. I think rooks are not supposed to be like super dwarf like. I think this is a good size, more or less. And I feel like the rook size here fits with the rest of the chess set, being that it's a little bit bigger. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I Like I said, to me, I really like the knights in this particular set. I'm not super, super thrilled about the shape of the cut of the bishop or the top portion of the, the rook here, but it's a nice set and it goes well together. So I think that if I had to choose between just the collectors and the Hastings, honestly, I'd probably say I don't know, I like the Hastings a little bit more maybe. And let's take a look at how it looks on top of the board. Okay, here we go. This is what this particular chess set looks on top of the board, both light and dark pieces. One of the things I wanted to mention is that also the footprint, like how much space the base of individual pieces occupy on these squares. Take a quick look here, if you're interested. Rewind back and take a look at the same recording for the collectors. It's not much difference, but I feel like the Hastings, because it's a slightly bigger chess set, does occupy just a tad bit more space um, than the collectors. But I don't know, it's very slight, very marginally slight. Let's take a look at the Marshall. Okay, so finally we have the Marshall uh, set. Marshall set, uh, one of the one of the main things that I like about this set uh, compared to the other ones is just the overall roundness of the king. Um, making it kind of, I don't know, I find the roundness of the kings to be kind of pleasing uh, to look at. They're not as sharp, they're not as, they're more approachable. I mean, I know that's kind of an arbitrary thing to say, but I feel like it is when you play. It's just, it feels more easily approachable overall. Um, more comfortable to look at, I guess. Um, the queen, a little bit shorter. Mm, so there is that drop off. Once again, this is a 3.75 inch king. And then the queen's gonna, you know, be a little bit shorter. But in this particular case, there's still that difference between the, uh, the bishop and the queen. So there is still gonna be a drop off, not as noticeable maybe, but you know, the uh, the knight here it does look a lot like the Fisher Spassky. In fact, the entire set looks more like the Fisher Spassky. If it wasn't for this like sort of a sharpness of the of the of the queen, because I think in the Fisher Spassky this is less less sharp. Although no, I don't know. Maybe it is. So this in fact does kind of look very similar to a Fisher Spassky set. Um, and then just a very normal looking rook. Um, I think overall this set is. It's nice, it's it's a nice set overall. Let me show you how it looks on top. Alrighty, so this is what this particular chess set will look on top on the same board. I haven't switched the board or anything. Um, this one kind of, in my opinion, I, I know through the camera I can only show so much, but um, I feel like this one fits well too. Um, in fact, I think that this is an overall very kind of conservative, conservative chess set without too many frills but at the same time it looks like a very nice playable chess set okay so yeah my biggest thing right here right now is is do not put pieces accidentally into another like if i put pawns of one chess set into another i'm gonna be i'm gonna be in in a pickle but anyways um now here's an interesting thing so um these type of uh cases uh, in my opinion and I've seen different type of cases out there, but this, these are really nice, like I said, because, because when you close the case, your board's inside the case. Some of the cases that I've seen before, you close the case and then you have an additional thing on the outside where you stick the board in and when you're walking, the board shows on the outside. Sometimes that's nice, other times I feel like it is nicer to have everything inside, um, but one of the things that I want to point out before I conclude this video is the, the pouches for the individual pieces. The pouches right over here are not super deep. And of course, you know, we don't already, we already don't have enough space when we close everything. We don't have that much space 
to go by, but I want to quickly see if I can put all the pieces of each one of the chess sets and tell you guys whether or not it's going to be sitting in there comfortably as far as the space that's available or are we having a little bit of an issue because here's the thing okay I'm going to start with the collector I'm going to start with the collector set okay because the collector set was the smallest and I'm just going to throw in the light pieces in here kind of willy-nilly here's the thing about these cases they are nice and I feel like everybody should have cases like this. However, when you have little kids and those little kids would rather just throw everything in one pouch because it's easier for them to do that instead of figuring out, oh, I need to make sure all my light pieces are in one side and whatnot. Um, here we go. I've been able to completely close the collector set in here and I still have space left over. No problem whatsoever. I've I have plenty of space here. Uh, in fact, if I can, yeah. I still have all this space right over here. So that way, when you close the pieces, they are big, but they're not so big that you cannot close the pieces. When I had a 4.4 inch plastic chest set that I reviewed like long time ago, I used the same case. And in that particular situation, I did have a little bit of a hard time putting all the pieces in here and I really had to kind of maneuver the space around the pieces to make sure that I have enough. And if, if you have children that um, are using these cases, we, we do want to make sure that the pieces will fit in here comfortably um, because it is another, you know, considering factor. Okay, uh, Hastings. Hastings was the biggest one, right? It was a little bit bigger than both the Marshall and the Collector ones. Uh, are we going to have any issues as far as space? Um, because pieces are a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I'm, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We have plenty of space, even a little bit left over. I had no, no problem, no, no issue as far as putting the pieces in here. Um, they fit all pretty comfortably. Like I said, these cases are awesome. Um, even if you have a larger or a smaller chest set, um, if I had to choose a case for a tournament plastic chest chest set, I would I would choose one of these because they're they're really nice. Marshall, Marshall. Well, if we were able to get the Hastings set in, well, I don't think we're really going to have a problem with with putting the Marshall set in here. But just for the sake of completion, we're going to go ahead and and throw the uh the light and i'm just doing the light pieces i'm not gonna do everything i will end up putting all these pieces yeah no problem absolutely whatsoever with the um with the marshall set either i think uh if you're going for a 3.75 or a 3.85 um chest set size chest set these are great cases in fact i would even venture to say that if you had non-plastic, like wooden chess pieces, let's say the uh, uh, Fisher Spassky chess set that I have, uh, would fit in here pretty well, as long as you'd be okay with like having all your pieces in this particular arrangement, just because, you know, plastic pieces sort of hitting against each other while you're walking or whatnot isn't that distressing of an idea, but if you have a, a really expensive chess set, then, you know, then you probably may want to consider uh, kind of putting in a more elegant box or something that's going to be a little bit more protected. But here, let me, let me just show you guys. Well, here, while we're still at it, let me just go ahead and show you guys. This is a pistol case. And inside we have my uh, Fisher Spassky chest set that I've shown you guys like way, way long ago. But this is still a really nice case. I, I keep it in the pistol case. It's a 3.75, I believe. So if I wanted to instead um, buy a case like this for my wooden chess pieces, I wouldn't put every wooden chess set in, in this type of a case just because I wouldn't trust it, things not to get all beat up. But the Fisher Spassky is one of my go-to chess sets for like, you know, a chess set that I could be okay with if it got a little bit scratched up. So yeah, look at that. I'm not going to put the dark pieces in because I have to put it back in there. But yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. Very nice. Now I put, I put all the light pieces in here. Like I said, we still have plenty, plenty of space. So these type of cases are cool, not just for a plastic chest set. 
but also for the uh, wooden chess sets. So that's kind of cool. Um, one thing I want to leave you guys with uh, consideration, and like I said, for those of you guys that have watched this video this far, these are awesome, awesome boards, and, and I feel like if I had to choose between a vinyl board, a silicone board, or whatever other board out there, and uh, one of these for tournament purposes, I would even choose this over like a wooden board, honestly, in a tournament setting, just because it's a nice, nice, comfortable board to play on. It's nice. If you guys have not played on one of these boards before, I do highly encourage you guys to check them out. But, but having said that, um, when you ro put this down and you, it's time for you to roll this board up. Okay. It is a little bit trickier to roll up. It's not, it's not really all that tricky, but it is a little bit tricky. You have to roll it up. And sometimes when you roll it up the way that I rolled it up, you may need to re roll it just because when you're putting it into these little compartments, sometimes I like to roll my board a little bit more tightly. So I'll start with at the very beginning and I kind of uh, have my method as I'm sure you guys do too. Uh, I'm checking out the side of the TV here to make sure that things are in focus because my camera has been kind of doing out of focus stuff. That's why I have a TV too. Anyways, and then you, you basically go in here and you, you, you take these little ribbon things, okay? And you pull it through and it's kind of tricky and then you pull it all the way through here and uh, Pull it through here, just like that, and presto, you have your board inside of the case. And it sits snugly inside here without any issues, without any any uh, ability to break or anything like that. Then you basically close this whole thing up like this, and you're done. We've seen this before in some of the other videos. Really quite nice. However, one of the things I want to mention for kids or for people that might have issues with dexterity, this is a little bit tricky to do, to put that inside here, just because these bands, at least in the beginning, are really tight. So the mouse pad board is quite large on the side compared to like a vinyl board. So if you're having an issue to where, or if your child is having an issue to where they're not able to see, because it does take a little bit of strength to get it in through, through these these loopholes and then you have to make sure you you open up the other loophole and that takes a lot of strength and energy if you're an elderly person or if you are buying something like this for kids that would be my only thing to consider I mean if you probably will be okay but if it's a small child like if it's my daughter or something I don't know will she be able to take her little tiny hands pull this out and then be able to put it back in or would I have to maybe buy a vinyl board instead for her? Because vinyl board, when you roll the vinyl board up, it's a little bit easier to push through here just because it's a little bit smaller. It's just little tiny nuances like that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, either way. Uh, so that's about it. That's about it. Um, well, that's about it for this video, my friends. As always, thank you. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos till the end. If you can or if you have time, some people do end up watching a part of the video, especially if they're the longer videos. They end up watching a little bit of the video, then they kind of leave because they have other things to do and then they come back and finish the video, which like I said, I appreciate you guys taking the time, as much time as you guys have to watch these videos and for all the likes and the comments. And also in other news, if you guys have watched this video this far, I've been trying to see if, if I could get affiliated with Square Off it's been kind of working out, so um, it. I think to this point, they're running a pretty good deal right now on the Square Off webpage, like on their official webpage. So it, I believe you get quite a large discount if you end up getting like a, a Square Off Pro board, but that discount will not last too long. And then I was able to collaborate with them up to this point. So if you do end up running out of time on the discount that's currently available, uh, do use the discount out chess and that'll get you 10% off. I think, uh, play with the current discounts too. Maybe you're able to get more, more, if, if you are able to get more of a discount, then fantastic. The more discount, the better, right guys? Yeah, so, um, but yeah, on Square Off, main Square Off page, if you put Alsu Chess, you'll get 10% off. I really wish it would be more, but it is what it is. 
Anyways, as always, thank you guys for watching. It was always wonderful to share new things with you guys. So be sure to stay healthy, stay productive, play chess, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.